Hey everyone, it's Brandon Freeman with Freeman's Construction. I'm here in Ramona at uh, this lot uh, that we are building a home for my family and I. So want to give you a little bit of a job update on what we got going on here. Uh, just passed our underground plumbing inspection. So it uh, that's an exciting day, especially since I did it myself. So a little bit nervous, uh, but we passed so we can keep rocking and rolling uh, moving forward with the foundation. So I want to show you around just uh, give you a little update of what's going on here. All right, so we are looking here at the, uh, the front bedrooms. This is gonna be my daughter's bedroom. My uh, good friend Dan is over there working on the skid steer, doing all the grading. So I uh, lied in my last video, said I was gonna give an update at the end of the day of what, uh, what we accomplished. I was so whooped, I didn't, uh, didn't wanna do anything but lay down after uh, running the shovel all day when Dan was digging the trenches. So here we are, a couple weeks have passed since. Uh, we've worked a couple weekends as far as setting all the forms. We got all the forms set around the house so you can see much better outline of the footprint of this home. So like I just said, we just passed the underground plumbing inspection which basically what they're looking for when they come to do that they want to see that the system is sized correctly you have the right size pipe in the ground uh, you're using the right fittings and you don't have any leaks that's a big uh, big factor right there so like I said this is something I I wanted to tackle myself just because uh, trying to save every bit uh, we can in this project since it's our own home and uh, it paid off, so it feels really good to pass that. We're looking here at the master bathroom. Shower there is on the left in that back corner. Tub there on the right. Sinks are gonna be there. Let me back up here a bit. This is gonna be the kids' bathroom and guest bathroom. Toilet right there in the lower left. All the vents for those, those fixtures. This is a tub vent and drain for the sinks so ABS glue ruins clothes I learned that I think I ruined about three t-shirts and two pairs of pants in this project and had to cut out a bunch of stuff so I definitely saved some money but I spent way more in fittings that I needed to so it's always uh, a learning curve when you do this but Everything is got the correct fall. We have no leaks and all the vents uh, are coming up right where the walls are gonna be. So we shouldn't run into any surprises once we snap this thing out when we have a foundation. If we do, then I can't blame anybody but myself, right? So we got about another probably week and a half, two weeks of grading this thing out and doing all the steel that's kind of the next process you can see here we have sand and then there's a, a vapor barrier underneath that plastic uh, this green plastic goes down so we grade the sand out just uh, four inches below the final grade because we have a four inch slab then we can uh, start tying all of our steel in the footings and also the mat it's going to go on top so next video should we have quite a bit of steel down and we can keep moving forward from there and then we will not be too far off from getting some concrete on the ground then my uh, daughter will have a place to drive really far again i know she's been anxious to uh get back on it she's part of the foreman's parked her uh truck here again so she may be out later to check in to make sure we're making good progress so we'll keep you updated thanks for watching have a great day